The printf function is a basic function that causes the program to print to a terminal window for the user to see. It has four main features. The format string is the first and only required parameter of the printf function. It is demarcated by quotation marks and is comprised of two smaller parts. First, there is generic text, which is printed on the terminal exactly how we see it in the printf function. Second, there is a variable placeholder indicated by the percent sign that tells the printf function to print a variable and how to format that information on the screen. This comma tells the printf function where to look for the corresponding variable. In this case, the variable is the constant 43. If there is more than one variable to print in a single command, then the variables will be printed in corresponding order. Since all variables are stored as contextless sets of bits, the symbols after the percent sign tell the printf function how to interpret the variables. The S tells printf to interpret the first variable as a string of characters. The D tells printf to interpret the second variable as a decimal integer. Here, the value of A is stored somewhere in memory. Finally, the F tells printf to interpret the third variable as a floating point number. The variable pi is stored in memory here as well. The 3.2 tells printf what width and precision to use. The 3 tells printf to use at least three digits to represent the number, and the 2 tells printf the precision to use after the decimal point. There's one final set of special characters to notice as well, the slash n. Slash n tells printf to start a new line in the terminal before printing the remaining text. The scanf function allows the user to input data to the program. Like the printf function, scanf must specify how the inputs should be interpreted. This percent sign %c tells the scanf to look for a character input and to store the character in the variable next car, which is located somewhere in memory. The ampersand tells scanf that next car is the name of the variable. When a user types a character and presses enter, scanf will store the character in next car. It's important to notice that scanf will store the user input only after the enter key has been pressed.